תודה רבה, thank you very much. Now you will, you will hear another language. It's Moroccan English. So, if you will understand me, it will be a big miracle, and I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. <clears throat> I am Miriam. I blessed with six children, four boys and two girls. All my boys fought together in a special unit. It's called Sayeret Golani. Two of my boys are not here, but I take them with me to this event. And you can feel my children that they are with me every moment. It was in the eve of Passover when three angels knocked on my door and they didn't bring with them the prophet Eliyahu. Rather, they were the bearer of terrible news. My second son, Eliraz, 32 years old, a father of four little children. The biggest was six years old. The little was two months old. He killed in Gaza Strip, fighting the terrorists that come to kill our children. When I saw the people that are outside my home, I ran, I shut the door, so no one could enter. When they finally come in, I beg them and, and pray. Don't say a word. Don't deliver the news. Just let me, my son, for one more minute. Because as long as you don't say those horrible news, my Elira still lives for one more minute. It has to be a mistake, I said for I had already paid the ultimate price of our country's survival dozen years earlier. My firstborn Uriel, also an officer in Sayeret Golani, 22 years old, was killed fighting the Hezbollah in Lebanon. And if it's not painful enough, my dear husband, Eliezer, unable to bear the loss of Uriel, he also passed away five years after that of broken heart. And it was Lel HaSeder. It was the eve of the Seder, of Passover. And we gathered to the Seder without Uriel, Eliraz, and my husband. And we cried when we read from the Haggadah, Bechol Dor Vador, Omdim Alenu Lechalotenu. In every generation, they rise us to destroy us. And people in Israel asked me, from where you get your strength? From where mothers? From where we get power? I said only from one source, from my fat in Hashem. It's not easy to love Hashem. It's not easy to love Him and to serve Him with happiness. How you ask from mother to serve you with happiness? I raise my children in your way. I also, I pray every Shabbat when I light a candle, zakeni legadel banim uvne banim, let me to see my children grow. And you know, if Hashem, you have not answered to me, so please give me answer for the four little children of my son Eliraz. What they do wrong that you take Eliraz, my son? There is no answer to this question. I will never get answer to the question, how Hashem lead this world. However, I have an answer to the question, why my children have fallen. They have fallen so the children of Israel can go now to the canyons to buy. 
they can go to trips that all the mothers of Israel can continue to have children here in Israel. They have fallen so that you in South of America, in Cape Town, in every place, in Canada, in Australia, in every place, you can continue to live peacefully and knowing that you have a home here and someone must ensure the existence of this home. They have fallen because this is the turn of my children. So how can I continue? I learn to see the miracles of Hashem. I learn, I wake up, and I saw two ways. One is to continue to sleep on my bed, to cry about my destiny, to blame the government, Tzahal, and everyone. This is one way. But there is another way, the way that you wake up and you look around you and you see the other children and you see your grandchildren and you see the sky and the flowers. I can't change the situation. I can't bring my children to me back, but I can choose my life. I can choose the way that I want to continue. And I choose to see on the darkness the light. And in every, every tragedy situation, you can see lights. And I saw here lights like you. I saw here women that want to be leaders. I saw here women that want to know the source of this nation. I saw you, how you will come back to your home and be a, and continue life with meanings. I saw the miracles of Hashem in every moment. Even someone threw the banana like today and I go on the street of Jerusalem and I, you know, two minutes I'm a, on the, uh, the floor, but there was a wall. And I stand, I look at the sky, and I say, Hashem, how you look for me? You was here now. You keep me. Thank you. Thank you for this moment. So I continue, because I know that Hashem, when he created the world, he didn't create the light first. He created the darkness. And only from the darkness you can see the lights. And if you can teach your children to see the lights, and if you can tell your children that, yes, they give me a price of Israel, but you, today, you get the big price than the price of Israel. You get the life. Today, every one of us, we get a big gift, a life. Did we waste this life? What we do with this moment? Because if my son Eliraz had one more minute, maybe he can hear Gilly, that was two months old, called him Abba, my father. And we blessed with this life. And for me, life, it's not how many years you live on this world. I know many people that live 18 years old, 90 years old. But what they do every morning? They take the car to Ikea, they buy sofa, they change sofa, they buy kitchen, they change kitchen. And I know people that live 20 years, but every day for them, they live life of meanings. And life of meanings, it's life of giveness. It's life of chesed. It's life of not only to see yourself, to see all the people around you. And I want to tell you, 
There is no one here that Hashem didn't bless, bless him with strength, with power. You know, when the baby come to this world, you know how much power need this baby to scream, the beat scream, the big, the first beat scream. How power? So every one of us, we blessed with power, with strength, but we need to choose to see this light in our life. And when people told me that I'm hero, I want to tell you that I prefer to be unknown. I prefer to continue the life before with six children. I was a principal of school, but I can't change the situation that Akadosh Baruch Hu, he tried me. He tried me a big trial. A big trial. We need to sacrifice our children to live here peacefully. We didn't teach our children to fight. We didn't teach them to take guns. We want them to live. We want them we want to see them build their home here. But this is our life here. And for that, my son Uriel wrote a big sentence. He wrote, with all the thorns, T-H-O-R-N-S, with all the thorns that entered my body, you can build a flower bed meter by meter long, but it is not ordinary thorns. This is the thorns of Eretz Israel. If you want to live in this place, you need to, to accept many kinds of thorns. And I prefer the thorns of Eretz Israel than the flower of all the world. This is the thorns. I was not, <laughs> I have not a privilege to be born here. I was born in Morocco. I met Aliyah in 1964. And in my speech, I said that one night, my father say, this night the Mashiach will come. I asked him how I will recognize this Mashiach. And he said he will come with short, with sandals, and with a shirt. I ask, who is this Mashiach? This is the Shaliach of the Jewish agency that take us from Morocco to this homeland. And my parents didn't know to read and they didn't know to write. But they know only one word in Hebrew. Only one word. Yerushalayim, not Jerusalem. Yerushalayim. And my father told us that in Jerusalem, you can see trees and you can get from these trees honey and milk. Where is all these trees? My Jerusalem is stones. And when I walk in the world in Jerusalem, on the, when I walk, I only hear, hear the heart of all these soldiers that died in this Jerusalem to let me to continue to be here. And I'm so happy to live in Eretz Israel, in my homeland. And I ask myself every day how I can be, how you say, worthy, worthy to my children. How I can be. Worthy to them. It's only to walk and to take with me the character of my children. To take them with me and to continue the life. And I choose life. Why? Because I'm a redhead. And you know the redhead, they are very optimist. I love the life. I love and I, I pray to Hashem to give me 
to give me time to be with my children and grandchildren. I meet every, every week, 1,000 soldiers, people, the teachers at schools, all the bereaved mothers in Eretz Israel, and now this week was very, very hard for me because I meet all the parents that lost their children in this uh, shitafon, the, this flood. It was very, very difficult, but I'm there to tell them, yes, I can bury my children and I can continue. And for me, heroism is to eat something that your children love so much, to cook the food that your children love, to cook, for, to cook meatballs that my children love so much. It is very difficult, but it can be. To wake up in the morning, to dress, to do makeup, and to put uh, odem, <laughs> lipstick, and to buy a ice cream with 1,000 calories. <laughs> and to say to yourself, yes, if it's light my soul, I do that. And to dance and to song, to continue to sing the song of this land. And may, may, Be'ezrat Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, will send us a peace. And I want to tell you something, why you have to be, have to be happy. If you have children that called you, Mom, thanks for that God, because I miss this world. I miss to hear my children to call me once, mom. Once. And you have children that you call you mom, please hug them. And thanks God for this minute. And I only want to ask God not to let no mother in this world to do the decision that I do every time when, ca when I come to Mount Herzl. Because the grave of my children, there is two meters between the grave of Uriel to the grave of Eliraz. And every time when I come to Mount Herzl, I choose one of my children. I can't hug two children. I choose one grave. I choose to be next one grave when the siren get up in the memorial day. And I ask Hashem, and I pray to Hashem, not let no mom to do these choices. Let us to see our children grow and build their homes. And I wish for you, for us in Israel, to see our children and to see this peace that we pray so much. And to see this Jerusalem that my father dream about this Jerusalem in Morocco in Sahara Desert. To see this Jerusalem, the building and how Ha'ir Azot Gdela Veporachat Veyeba Tzedek Veshalom. Toda Rabah.